Uh, this is another altered file folder journal. I had bought out some office's supply of hanging file folders and file folders, so I got a lifetime's worth. I used some ticking, red ticking, for a tie for this one. And it's loose. In the front, there's some vintage lace on the spine. Some more vintage lace at the top and the bottom. There's pockets on the front. I've hung some tags from them. They've all been stamped with line stamps and such. In this pocket is two of them. Um, Bohemian Craft, and this was a couple of her kits, but her postal kit and a couple of her printables that I've used on a lot of these. This was from my um, Farmer's Albanac book that I use that little picture on the back of that one. Stamping and sewing and little tags. It measures eight and a half by four and a half. And it's a quarter inch spine here, but it's about three quarters inch wide because it's jam packed. <coughs> Excuse me. On this side is a pocket with another tag, with the tag hanging from it. And on the back, I've created a little tuck and put some pieces of ephemera or quote. And I think you have to remove this to get to this. This holds this down. There's two pockets, but I've only put one thing in this one. I will find something to put into this one. But another tag and another one of that Farmer's Albanac pictures. And the This opens up for a journal and spot, and just a lot of collage work. And this tag holds that down. On this side is a little corner tuck that I've included this tag. And there's another one there and just some collage work and some journaling spots. Some more of that vintage lace. This is a pocket that I've left empty. But it's a large um, altered envelope. Over here is another little tiny corner tuck that I fussy cut around this image and put in an altered um, business card just tucked in there. Over here is a button tab and this flips up to more journaling spots. In some pockets and it also flips down. There's another one of those altered business cards and an 
alteration tag in this pocket that has some lined paper on the back. I think these are Tracy Fox, some of her definition labels. Some more of that vintage lace. There's an elastic here that I did not put a little journal in yet. You can attach, like I said, a TN style notebook, little notebook in there. This two flip tabs and I folded this so it folds out in this way. These are meant, I guess, to be cut out, but I decided to leave them on the page as one page and fold it up. Some stamping and line stamping. This is held, this has a, a large tag in this pocket This is held closed with one of those altered business cards, and this flips up. It also has a tag inside that pocket. I think this was a, a another altered envelope for this little pocket. This flips up. To expose some more journal and spot and some collage work and that just holds it down over here I have another button class item it flips up there's a pocket up the top with another journaling card some vintage dictionary in the back. There's two small pockets here with some more journal and tags, cards, a little piece of ephemera, which you can also write a little note on in that pocket. The back pocket has another corner tuck with some more tags in them. Two more tags, some more lace and papers. And these have these little tags on the tags. On the back, it has a, a larger pocket, and I've included this large piece of paper printed out and inspired by in a date, and some graph paper on the back. I want to thank you for looking and have a great day.